David, the Bug Eye Guy from BugEyeGuy.com. And today I'm in a Morris Minor Traveler. I want to show you double clutching and also heel toe shifting. Let's get started. Now, a lot of these old transmissions are a little bit fragile. The synchros are worn and they don't always downshift well. So, what you would be doing to double, uh, to double clutch if I'm in fourth gear right now, which I am, we're sitting here at park, of course, but I'll show you on the go in a minute. I'm going to go clutch in, neutral, give it gas, clutch in, third, and clutch out. I always give a little bit of gas when I'm easing out the clutch and downshifting so that I can make my shift super smooth. So now to go from third down to second, I'm going to do it again. Clutch in, neutral, gas, clutch in, second, and then I'll ease out the clutch and give it some gas. The idea here is to get everything spinning at a uniform speed and minimize stress on the synchros. So let's try that again. I'm in third gear. I'm going along. I want to decelerate, or let's say I want to accelerate, and I need to downshift to do so. I have my foot on the gas. I'm in third, and I want to go faster. Clutch in. Second, clutch out in neutral, giving it some gas. Clutch in. Second, and out. So when you get good at it, it's just like that very quick. Now to heel toe shift, what you're actually doing is you're adding brake into the mix. Same technique, but the brake is added. Now I can't actually get my heel on the gas because of this pedal configuration. So even though it's called heel toe, I actually have the ball of my foot on the brake pedal and the outside edge of my foot on the gas. So in that way I can cover the brake and blip the throttle with my outside edge of my foot. So it's the same thing. I'm in third, I now want to decelerate for a turn and get second at the same time. So clutch in, neutral, clutch out, blip the throttle, clutch in again, second, and then I give it some gas. So let's see how that looks on the fly, and then you can try it yourself. <laughs> One minor detail, the car has to start. There we go. Okay, so let's let's demonstrate heel toe shifting. This Morris Traveler is a great fun car. It's very modified. We're still working some of the kinks out. Disc brakes with a power booster and a five speed. Okay, and here we go. And you'll sh you should be able to hear how nice it sounds. All right, I'm in third. I'm coming up on a turn. I'm going to cover the brake, blip in neutral, into second, and off we go. And we have a bit of a flood. So second, and there we go. Hopefully you can see that. And all this is about is basically being very kind to your synchronizers in the transmissions. Because they're usually worn, if you're sloppy or too quick, you'll grind the gears and accelerate transmission wear. So what we're trying to do is find a way to gently allow the gears to mesh and take some of the slack off of the synchronizers, which are already compromised on most of these British cars. So, always want to have a gentle hand with any British sports car, whether it's a Morris or a Bug Eye or an MG. Generally, you have somewhere. All right, we're in third. We're coming up on a turn. So here are my feet again. And I ease it out. And then I can accelerate. And that's double clutching and heel-toe shifting from BugEyeGuy.com.